I'm Dr. Martha Rodriguez, the founder and CEO of MMR Healthcare in Boynton Beach. We are an internal medicine practice. Internal medicine is the practice of medicine that takes care of you from the time you become an adult to the end of your life. As an internist, we have the privilege of having a longitudinal relationship with people. My job here to direct the practice is to make sure that we meet all the needs of our community, mainly education, mainly being here for you no matter what your need is. I was born in Cuba and I came to this country in 1975 at the age of 13. I started high school in this country and then went on to go to Seton Hall University for college. Going to college was a big challenge because language was a very big challenge. So what I did is I created a calendar and every day I will turn a page to the left and say I was closer to my goal. Then I decided to go to medical school which I couldn't afford so I went to the Dominican Republic where I did my medical degree. Ever since I was a child I wanted to be a doctor. I always liked a special connection with people. When my brother got diagnosed with ulcerative colitis and I cared for him through his youth, then I realized that we could really make a difference when we become a doctor ourselves. So I dedicated my whole life to doing that and never let anything stop me, even though I had many difficulties. Here at MMR, we welcome patients every day for many reasons. They come a lot of times because they just want someone to listen to them. Most of the time, we care about chronic conditions. We improve them, we educate patients, and we walk them to, to improve in their quality of life. We come in, we talk to them, we study their charts, and with them, we create a team effort that gets them to the goal that they need to achieve to have a better life. Here at MMR, we take care of all chronic conditions, and that could involve many things. It could involve blood work, it could involve physicals, EKGs, immunizations. We're very big on immunizations. I think what sets us apart is that we're very innovative. We try to keep our minds open to all the things that improve healthcare. Six clinicians that are always striving to achieve the best that can be done. Currently, we're involved in treating diabetes aggressively. We own a recognition from the CDC for excellence on that. But our most recent exciting event is the use of POCUS, which is handheld ultrasound, the future of healthcare. We no longer will have a stethoscope to look at the outside of you, but we will have an ultrasound, handheld ultrasound, to look at the inside of you. We can now see your arteries while we're seeing you. We can see your heart. We can see a lot of things. My biggest goal has always been to be very innovative, and the six clinicians in our office continue to always work at that. Going through medical school was a real challenge. In many ways, it was a challenge with studies, it was a challenge most of all financially. My dad got sick during the time that I was in medical school and had to have bypass surgery. And at that time, he couldn't send me money. So I decided I had a porch in front of my house with two columns. I put a rope and a big sign, everything is for sale. I will sell my clothes, I will sell my chairs, I will sell anything that will get me through the week. And with that, I was able to make enough money to be able to make it and get to the next step. What does it take to be a medical director? It takes a lot of passion, perseverance, and faith. Anyone can learn that two and two is four, but it's not everyone that can dedicate their life to the practice of empathy. Empathy and responsibility come together. When you have a big staff to manage and you have a lot of patients to care for that you never know what they're coming in for. It could be for happiness and a lot of times it's for sadness. Your responsibility always remains the same. Be the best you can be for everyone, your employees, your family, your patients, everyone. So what is a typical day for Martha Rodriguez? This is what I do. The day before my appointments, I study all of my charts. I memorize all the labs, I, anything that needs to be addressed during the visit. When I walk into a room, I know everything about that patient. I know everything about their lives and why they are here. When the door of an exam room closes for me, that is sacred. That is a unique moment in my life, so I live to prepare for it. I see the patient and then when I walk them out, I know that they feel like everything that they needed has been addressed. And that's what I strive for every day. Being a medical director is a big responsibility because you never stop being a doctor. So the day before you see patients, you have to study the chart, you have to know what the patients are coming in for. But as you prepare for the next day, you also have to prepare for everyone else. Has the patient been in the hospital? Do we need to call the patients? Make sure they're taking the medications properly. And who's coming in to teach us about new medications? What are we supposed to be serving the community for for the next day? All of that takes preparation and you have to take yourself out of being a 
physician, which is the most important role, and just approach all the other ones. Always keeping in mind that the main one is to take care of the patient, and when the door closes in an exam room, that becomes your world. As a medical director, we have a lot of responsibilities, one of which is to keep our reach outside our front door. What happens outside really influences what happens inside. When the patient leaves your office after being with you for 15 minutes, then they live the rest of their lives. That's why we work very hard at getting involved in our communities. We do lectures, we do seminars, we sponsor all the sports events, we encourage exercise programs, anything that extends our goal to be able to be healthier. As you grow older and you excel at trying to be the best version of you, you also have to remember that life has many aspects and being inside the office is as important as being outside the office. Keep, keeping a life balance with your family and your hobbies is very important. That's what feeds your soul and charges you to, to prepare you to deal with the chronic conditions that are so difficult to deal with. I have a special one. I love my granddaughter, so that's the treat of my life. I love spending time with my granddaughter. It was it's what makes me happy. So I take her to the beach, we practice makeup sessions, we paint, we do things that make us both happy. With that, I recharge my battery so that I can be the best medical director that MMR Healthcare needs. I can assure you that everything will stand in your way. It is your will that will make the difference. Always keep an eye on your goal. Difficulties will come. Of course they will, but you have to overcome them. Use them as a tool to grow. Use them as a step to reach your goal and walk faster every time you get stronger by surviving them. It is important in healthcare that you always keep in mind the team approach. A team approach that will start when you are a child. When you become a high school student, when you become a college student, you will always have to get support. Always look outside of yourself. Inspiration will come from anywhere you look. It will always be difficult, but remember that you're always part of a team. And as a team member, always look for your team players and your co-workers as the help you need to get ahead. Life will become difficult. Great things always are, but there are scholarships, there are many resources. Currently, I'm heavily involved with the Palm Beach Medical Society because I look at the society as a place where everyone can go and get the help they need, the mentorship they need. We can look at all the possibilities that will get you to where you need to go. Trust me, you can get there.